Uh, Wednesday's <laughs> sun now, and we all know footballers love kicking things really hard, but maybe this particular footballer took his passion a bit too far. Oh, that's all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Leo, you've got the details on this, this one. Is, Yeah, so you, you might remember a few months ago, uh, West Ham player Kurt Zuma uh, was, was videoed. In fact, he, he took the video himself, mm. uh, kicking, kicking the and cat his across kid, the kitchen. His kid was filming a bit. Or his, his kid right? was, yeah, yeah. was filming it, but um, yeah, so he's facing jail now because uh, he's admitted kicking his cat like a football across the kitchen and yelling, I swear I'll kill it. Uh, so the court was called both of Zuma's cats were likely to have suffered soft tissue trauma in the sick attack and uh, this would have left the animals, uh, which have, are both now in the care of the RSPCA, in pain and discomfort and fearful of humans in the future. But there's part of this that's uh, cultural differences because uh, in a lot of countries, uh, people treat animals a lot, a lot harsher. And it's not seen as a, as a bad or cruel thing. This is a West Ham player. Mm. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's not... They don't have their own cultural norms at West Ham. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know where he's from. But um, uh, before I say yeah. something... Yeah. No, he's from France, apparently. Oh, he's oh. from France, right. Well, they, yeah, well yeah. certainly. <laughs> yeah, there's a I mean, they eat everything, they but they do. don't mistreat animals, do they? Or they, they eat cats. My mate who's Bajan said, you know, he, was, he couldn't believe that there's all this fuss over the, over the cat. Really? Being and he's, he's not a bad guy. Like, he, he was just saying, like, this is a cultural difference. So it's, it's one of these things where, you know, the thing about diversity and, you know, tolerance of different cultures is you're going to have... Cultural differences. Now, come so on. Just some people I'm going to stand okay. up for the cat here. Yeah. I just, I just think this no. is wrong. Scott, back me up here. It's you just should... a male violence thing, isn't it? I mean, he was born at home and he kicked a cat. And the, the, the weird thing to me is he's already been fined a quarter million pounds. That seems quite like enough, probably. I know it's only two weeks' wages for him. Two but weeks' it's, wages. That's but it's it. a quarter million pounds and that's a lot. So I feel like but, jail time seems... Uh, well, this is saying five years, potentially. Five yeah. years yeah. in jail for kicking a cat. Oh. But I would say, you know, it is cruelty to animals. I don't mm. think you can justify it. Well, yeah, but in a lot of countries, people are very cruel to animals and very nice to politicians. Not, Whereas in this country, we're very cruel to politicians and nice to animals. If you kicked, so it's just if you a, kicked a politician, difference. you'd get five years. Yeah, well, yeah. well, maybe not. I wonder what's going to happen to him in prison for having kicked a cat. What, what will his, you know, reputation be in jail? That's yeah. going to be a tough one, won't it? I mean, saying that you're, you're in there for kicking a cat, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. it isn't very... It doesn't say McKissick. It doesn't, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No, he's probably not going to fare particularly well.